So I've been having a discussion in the Facebook group for the Skeptic Society on my university campus, and somebody posted a comment saying, oh, do you guys think that, or they started a thread saying, do you guys think that uh, religion has had an overall positive or an overall negative um, impact on the world? And I said, you know, I think this is a really kind of a shallow question because, um, you know, you can't just take all spiritual beliefs that people have ever had and just lump them all together and call it religion and then say religion is good or religion is bad. Um, it's absurd to lump the religious beliefs of Martin Luther King, for example, who thought that, who believed that all men are created equal, in with the religious views of the Ku Klux Klan. I mean, it makes absolutely no sense. Um, I mean, you know, just basic common sense says, I mean, you don't, you don't lump in Buddhist monk with um, an Al-Qaeda terrorist. It makes no sense whatsoever. So failing to distinguish between different religions and different groups within religions, I think, is uh, it's rather intellectually dishonest um, if somebody's going to hold die hard to that position. So anyway, the topic ended up moving on to slavery, and uh, somebody pointed out, well, they had slavery in the Bible. And it's like, yes, they had slavery, but it was very, very different from what we had in the United States. In the Bible, God, um, I think the best word for it is he tolerated slavery. Um, slavery isn't spoken of with high regard in many passages. Um, however, just the fact that they had slavery doesn't necessarily mean that the institution was the same as what we think of when we think of slavery. Um, here in the United States, we purchased, uh, you had um, white Europeans who purchased Africans from other Africans who captured them and sold them into slavery uh, to the Europeans, and then they were held in captivity for generations and generations. Um, they were treated very poorly by their masters, uh, very often. Not to say that there weren't um, masters who treated their slaves more kindly, but, you know, generally speaking, uh, you know, when we look back on history, we look at slavery as being a very cruel institution. Um, and I've also learned that there were black slave owners who the white slave owners regarded as uh, being extremely cruel to their slaves. Um, now, obviously, this video isn't necessarily about the complexities of slavery within the United States. However, um, when we compare what we had in the United States with what the Bible had with regard to slavery or what God allowed the Hebrews to have, um, you see worlds of you see worlds of difference. Uh, for example, if a Hebrew master were to be beating a slave to the point where he caused permanent physical damage, that slave was allowed to go free. So if he broke his tooth or destroyed an eye, um, he was allowed to go free. And of course, I take this passage as not being limited to just teeth and eyes. Um, I think it's you know, common sense reading the passage, it's not just limited to those two. I'm sure if you beating a slave to the point where they lost a finger, I mean, they'd be allowed to go free. So there was definitely limitation on the capital punishment slaves could undergo. Um, wasn't like here in America where you could just whip and beat your slaves uh, senseless. Um, so there were a number of differences. This, The two articles that were being compared, um, or the two articles that I just read, one was uh, a response article posted by the by a guy in the skeptics group, um, and I read that, and then I read the original article that the article was just, and the original article, sorry, my uh, camera's kind of freezing up here, the original article was by a Christian who was arguing that American slavery and Hebrew slavery were totally different institutions. And it was interesting because in the response article, the guy didn't really when he quoted um, the Christian author, he tended to omit the Bible passages. Um, now, perhaps he kept it in once or twice, but I didn't see any, I didn't happen to notice any place where he included the Bible verses in his quote. And I thought that was definitely interesting. Um, he also, some of the work he did was a little bit sloppy. He said that, um, well, in America, slaves were sometimes able to buy their freedom, but you don't see that anywhere in the Bible. And I was like, when I went back and read the uh, article by the Christian, um, actually you do. Um, there were 
that was something that slaves had the right to. They were uh, they had the right to buy their freedom uh, from their masters. So they were definitely interesting articles. Um, I'm going to put them in the description box, and uh, I want to encourage everybody to read both articles. And you know what? Perhaps read the article by the skeptic first, or maybe read the article by the Christian first. Um, change it up, see what you think. Um, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, this is Greg, out.